Public safety power shutoff that's been issued for thousands of people in Kern County. Many without power tonight. The lights reportedly just going out moments ago for more customers. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden live from outside Crystal Palace, where a resource center there has been set up with more on the impacts to residents right now and when officials say the power may be turned back on. Leslie. Yes, pg &E has confirmed that 4,000 people in our community are without power and when it will return is unknown. And today I spoke with the neighborhood who shared with me their frustrations. I'm never pleased with pg &E because, you know, it's interrupting us and stuff. And if it stays off for five or six hours, that's bad. Mary Jones and Kathy Van Horlbeck says that their power has been shut off since 10 o'clock this morning. And they are part of the 4,000 people in Kern County that have been without power due to public safety power shutoffs. According to PG&E, this is due to the forecasted severe wind event. The shutoff is expected to affect hundreds of thousands of people across California. We didn't anticipate it today. We've gotten notices the last few days that it would be shut off because of high winds. Um, there's been no high winds in this area. And later they received this message from PG&E around 1030 this morning, saying that their power may be turned off and prepared to plan. Spokesperson Katie Allen explained why some areas are impacted and others are not. So I know it's hard for our customers to possibly understand why their power is out if they're not seeing those high winds or that low humidity, but it's because of, because of how our system is interconnected. And though their area may not be seeing it, other areas that are served by the same electric lines as theirs could be experiencing that type of weather. Van Hurlbeck is here for a month, helping her aunt, who was blind, and is afraid that if this happens again, she would have never known about the PG&E alerts. They need, especially for older people, they need to know where older people are living, so maybe they can send someone or call them instead of sending a text message. Both ladies say they have been trying to speak with someone directly at PG&E, but have been unable to. There is also a resource center for those who are impacted by the shutoffs located at Buck Owens Crystal Palace during daylight hours only. The resource center provides restrooms, bottled water, electronic device charging ports, and air conditioning. PG&E wants to remind customers to make sure that you're updating your contact information on their website for situations like this. Live in Bakersfield, Lozell Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.